What is going on, everybody? I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We are watching the new official trailer to Extraction 2, Dose. Dose. And so uh, this is from Netflix. Thanks so much for joining us. If you guys haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, pretty please. Vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Otherwise, we'll extract you and put you somewhere bad. Tyler, you were clinically dead nine months ago. Yeah. You survived. He's a survivor. You fought your way back. Wow. You just have to find out why. It's always important to find your why. Okay. That ladder has protected him. We got a contract. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah, That's dope. that is cool. It feels like a video game. What? <laughs> what is client's request? Oh. I oh. love these things. Like, we'll have more kids this time. I didn't think of that. Do you know her? Tyler? Oh, oh, there's history. Getting you out of here, okay? <laughs> Cute. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, such a. told me to find the reason I fought my way back. Nice! Oh! Let's find out. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! La, 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 la. Wow! I thoroughly enjoyed looking at that. I did too. It's like, I mean, of course, when you're doing an action film and you're going for a sequel, you have to do it bigger, badder, and better. But I feel like they definitely understood the assignment here. So you you said something uh, key here that it, w it would be my one criticism in looking at this, and you said it kind of feels like a video game. And I think that's a confluence of two things. Number one is if you if you watch a lot of cutscenes and whatnot. First off, this is kind of silly. Um, the, if you watch a lot of cutscenes in video games, cameras can do stuff that is impossible in real life, right? Yeah. And so when you see that in a movie, it kind of switches your brain to thinking, oh, I'm watching a cutscene in a way. Yeah. Because you've been watching that so often. And also, there's a lot of green screen going on. The The helicopter here looks really, really good. Like, all of this, is, you're dealing with a lot of digital stuff here, and it sure. looks fantastic. I mean, I'm watching this as a, in a, what do you call it, a compressed YouTube video, so I'm, we're not getting the full scope of it, like in 4K and whatnot off of Netflix, but from, you know, at a cursory glance, it looks really really good this is a lot of fantastic uh, stage work because yes. this is green screen and and you know they're, they're obviously like replacing it and whatnot the helicopter doesn't actually have a, ro a blade rotating it's this is like the way they got the helicopter moving to make it look like it's actually flying is really really good the soldier work is, is fun to watch I mean it's just it's just so badass to have them all come out like that and then do like a cool Kind of, you know, like a staged pose and yeah. then go on. It just, it's just fun for the aesthetic, you yeah. know? Yeah, I mean, this is really, really complicated stuff what's going on with as far as green screen goes. For a Netflix movie, it looks really good. But if this is like for a theatrical release, it, it, it would need a few more passes for me to feel like I'm convinced. Just, cool. in, just in terms of the atmosphere. Like okay. the, the action is, is obviously quite fun and Chris Hemsworth is a fantastic star and Sam Hargrave knows his shit. He, like, he knows how to make action look 
look good. Well, that's what I'm feeling like watching this. You know, I do love a, a kind of fight like this within close quarters, like on a bus yeah. or on a train. Like in this situation, it's really thrilling and and it's just really exciting to watch when it's executed well. Yeah. But I was kind of feeling like this. Could be like a John Wick going yeah. forward, you know, like it's just fun action. Yeah, it's just that like this whole thing. I think there was a cut in there because uh, they tried to kind of like blend two shots together, right there. They, oh. they, there was a there was a cut that happened there, and then here it's like it's very clear to me that this is a green screen, and it's, you're not actually going to have Chris Hemsworth out there almost get his head, you know, taken out by a tunnel. A, a tunnel in a train. You're not actually going to put his life in danger like that. It's just not worth the risk. No. So, but but like this stuff is obviously real. Like th there's a lot of cool harrowing looking stuff here. Again, you have the combination of Sam Hargrave who knows his, his shit when it comes to action. You've got a, a very awesome uh, lead actor, which is Chris Hemsworth. And it's like, I, I'm sold on yeah. those two things alone. And, and you know, like, I feel like they're trying to give us story as well. I appreciate that, you know, they're at least trying with, you know, he's he's sa trying to save this family. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a woman and her kids. And they're already they're feeling kind of helpless. And then there's the potential of... It, them having a, a history before, which is always interesting. I I really like car gymnastics. Like this stuff, This that's I feel like that's real. I don't think this is CGI. And if it is CGI, they did a fantastic job because I'm convinced that it's real. Like this, the, yeah, the way that car is flying wild. across there, it looks great. I appreciate any practical effects that they can do. Uh, that that this, this 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 is this is Sam Hargrave and his team his team of choreographers going how crazy can we get with this? yeah and, I love it yeah and how how can we do something that you haven't seen before and so to like throw this guy into the treadmill and then ha and then like follow him through yeah. that like is some very clever editing it's so creative yeah. like I've I'm so, like that thing was looked thrilling as well like I'm so enjoying just how action films are evolving now mm -hmm. and like just the creativity that directors and their their stunt teams are employing with shooting these and and doing them in such a way that when when we're watching these films we're still feeling like excited by them again I really appreciate what Sam Hargrave is able to create I don't need the camera to go as crazy as it does I, I think that because of Instagram I don't know I follow stunt people on Instagram and so I'm seeing crazy experimental camera work all the time and so now I'm curious about stuff that is more in favor of like what Denis Villeneuve <laughs> Denis Villeneuve yeah like whatever he does I like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting more and more drawn towards that style where it's still this kind of frenetic action that has you on the edge of your seat but the camera is not doing quite as much because it feels it almost feels like the camera is trying to compensate sometimes I know what you're saying because Yes, there is definitely merit to just kind of maybe holding the shot a yeah. bit and just allowing us to see it wider. But there is something also exciting about this style where it, it does feel a bit more frenetic and and it's more dynamic and kinetic as it's like moving along with the action. It's just like a different vibe. Yeah, you know? no, I agree with you. Um, I just don't ever want to ask myself if something's real. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, and, I understand and, and, how that can pull you out. Yeah, I just I just want to be engaged with what's happening the whole time. Sometimes there's like this ambition that happens, and I totally get why Sam Hargrave and team would go for that ambitious thing. But then like you have the limitation of a Netflix budget, whatever that budget is, that you do not get with like Warner Brothers or or whatever or Paramount. You know what I mean? The, well, yeah, if it's getting a theatrical release. Yeah, it's a, it's a completely different conversation. Then, right. Then, then it's like another level. At some point, Netflix might have that where it, it looks that amazing, where it's like that looks exactly like how it would look if it was a theatrical release. You know what I mean? But I, I felt this as well with the, the Gray Man. In the Gray Man, I'm like, I'm looking at it, and I know they spent a lot of money on this, but I, I can just tell it doesn't look quite as refined as you know and that's also the russo brothers because like i don't know i don't think, I think it's think their fault produced it i don't think it's their no, fault i'm just saying yeah. that there's also this connection sure. right like the russos are, are really going balls to the wall with like action now that they're not that they they never did action of course they did with like all of the marvel stuff but i feel like since they've stopped doing marvel now they're just like well the only thing do i do this like super creative um 
action sure. type content. Uh, the only thing I the only things I've seen from them though have only been on Netflix. Well, we I don't, haven't I don't, watched Citadel yet. No, I haven't. But that's still that's still a streaming. Yeah, that's still a streaming. Platform. I, I yeah. haven't seen what happens when they're given money by a studio for a theatrical release since Endgame. Yeah, they, that's all. That's all been I'm driving on at. streaming they, a lot. They've more. strictly been on streaming as yeah. far as I have seen. And so I'd be very curious to see what happens when they're given money by a, a film studio that's aiming for a theatrical release. If it still looks like this in mm. terms of the, just how, you know how well it's refined or produced. Well, but, they tricked me because I couldn't tell the difference. Oh, I just like immediately yeah. I, I'm picking up on it. But that's me. You know, I guess most people wouldn't. I feel like a lot of people are pretty savvy and would know that that's not like real. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. Like anytime you watch something like this or anything on television or in the movies, it's like you're making a contract with the film to go, I know that this isn't real, but while I'm watching it, I'm going to suspend my disbelief. And, sure. Yeah. No, enjoy. I mean, ideally, you, ideally, it doesn't matter when you get there because you're so engaged with the character, his plight, exactly. and the story. Yeah, you, you know? only really get bothered by these things if uh, like character, story, all of that stuff isn't there. Right. Then you notice it and you're like, well, that's rubbish. Right. They're doing a lot of good disguising of stuff where mm -hmm. m it's moving quick enough that maybe you wouldn't catch it. Sure. You know what I mean? But overall, I'm still excited nonetheless. I'm a, I'm a Sam Hargrave fan and I'm a Chris Hemsworth fan. And so just on that alone, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm in. Yeah. You know, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed this reaction and discussion. Let us know your feelings in the comments below. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.